if you are like me, excited, can't wait, you know, to get your hand on the Canon EOS R5, so then I have a great news to share with you. Welcome to Camera Tips, Review, and Tutorial. I am Colby. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I am so excited. According to Canon rumors, Canon going to announce the Canon EOS R5 and also R6 in first week of July. So far, you know, the date that, you know, they're proposing is either the 2nd of July or 6th of July. So no sure which date it is. But I am in a lookout. As soon as I know what is the exact day of that announcement, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to make a video and share with you straight away. So look out for that and look into in this space. If you are not subscribed to my channel, so subscribe so that you will be first informed. The last announcement that Canon made in April, I think 20 or 26, we found that little bit more about the spec of the Canon EOS R. And I was so excited because I was really looking forward about the, you know, the 8K recording, 8K video recording that they are talking about. So in that announcement, we found that, that the 8K recording is internal recording. It's 10 bit, 10 bit for 2.2. Just let it sink for a minute or for a second. Wow. But we don't know much about the steel yet. And there's so much spec that we need to know more. And the hope is that in July, they will add more. They will find out more about the complete spec of this Canon EOS, EOS R5. Are you following me? I'm so pumped up. But the second thing that we don't know is the price. How much it will cost, we don't know. But there's a rumor going around that it will cost, uh, there's a sometime, there's an Australian um, camera seller or something like that that put the price of around 6,000 pound or above when, or 10,000 Australian pound, uh, Australian dollar or something like that. It's just a crazy price. That's the case. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to get that. You know, that's, price, no, that's beyond me. And all the rumors say that it's not going to be above 4,000 pounds, 4,000 or below. And I feel that is the right price for the spec that we know so far. That is, that is, that is, that's my range. That's my range price. And that's what I'm going to aim for. That's what I'm saving to aim for this one. But if above that, please forget it. I want to switch from my Panasonic to Canon for one single reason. The autofocus. I mean, the autofocus on the Panasonic is just killing me sometimes. You know, you are in a wedding or in an event, you film, you put in autofocus filming video. Oh my God, you cannot trust this thing to get you the focus that you need. You miss so important shot. Ah, it's so killing me. That's the reason why I'm thinking I'm going to switch. And so far, I got the option Sony or Panasonic. Oh, Sony, sorry, Sony or Canon. You know, before I get to Panasonic, I had Canon. I started with the Canon 600D. You know that camera? Yeah, I started with that. And then from there, I moved to Canon 5D Mark II. And when the GH4 came out with the 4K, I jumped shoot. I jumped, I even kind of talk, so excited. I jumped ship to Panasonic. But yeah, I love Panasonic. I love, you know, the color science. You know, I love the image that give give you. Even now, I'm filming with, with the S1. The image is so great. But the thing is not just about the image. If I'm I, I'm a one person, you know, crew. Sometimes I feel myself. I need the autofocus to get it right. I cannot film an autofocus. You know, I know that if I film, I'm filming a manual focus. 
You have my autofocus, and, and also, you know, the complexity of my color skin. This thing, now, this Panasonic, doesn't like that skin. <laughs> I'm just joking. But honestly, when the skin is dark, it's really difficult for the autofocus really to, if there's not enough light, it's really difficult for the autofocus to get it right. So that's what I said. It doesn't like, you know, dark skin. So anyway, I'm planning, you know, to switch from Panasonic to a camera where we'll get great spec, great video quality, and the autofocus is spot on. I can't wait, you know, for the Canon EOS R5. And I hope you are also excited as me. So if you're excited, please subscribe to my channel. Please support my channel. I just started, you know, no long time ago. I've been doing filmmaking for a very long time, but I started doing tutorial and tips and hug and review. So support my channel, subscribe. Thank you very much. And for me, only peace, love, protection, and safety. So, you know, from London, with love to you. Peace.